Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you may be in. It's Jess from Audio Plugin Deals, and today we're having a look at Karani's Wave Synth, which is a wavetable synthesizer uh, for Contact Fool. And so basically what you're getting with this is three different packs. Um, you get the Essential Sound Pack, which is kind of designed for more kind of retro synth wave. So that's this one here. And you've also got the VHS Cinema Sound Pack, which is more kind of for sound design and film scoring. And as an added bonus, they've also included uh, the Wavetable Starter Kit, so you can literally just sort of build your own synth from scratch. Um, so we're going to be having a look at those today and listen to my very quick mock-up that I made um, to try and showcase it. It was actually a lot of fun to make. Um, but yeah, so there's quite a lot of fantastic sounds in here. Um, so if you're interested in deals like this, currently 70% off, uh, then make sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell and let's dive right in. So we'll start with the classic essential sound set, which is split into three different folders here. We've got the bass, the keys, and the sound effects. Um, so this whole uh, library has over 200 and 220 presets um, split over the three folders. Um, so at the moment I have one of the, the keys loaded up, the synth, bright synth. Very synth wave, I love it. <laughs> so at first glance you can see here we've got, again, lovely. Um, very basic kind of controls here um, to adjust kind of the main points like the filler, dimensions, delay, reverb, um, EQ, etc. Um, which is great. Um, if you're looking for more kind of advanced tweaking, um, you can click, oh, sorry, I didn't show that very well. You can click down here uh, and it will bring up much more to kind of sort of play around with. So you can see here the, the four in the front with the, the filter, the dimension, delay and reverb are in much more detail now. So you can really tweak them and fine tune what you want. Um, for example, so if I was wanting to kind of muck around with this a bit more, all I'd have to do is click here to adjust the delay. adjust the filter you can mess around with the wave table as well and um, we also have an algorithm type over here which can change it up quite a bit. And you can also right click and obviously map so you can literally use your keyboard to change easily, which I find very handy. Obviously if you want to get rid of that, just remove it. I don't really use that option very often, but I like that it's available so easily on this, um, just for adjusting anything really. Um, the reverb as well, you can sort of muck around with the reverb. 
quite a bit. And if you're feeling particularly adventurous, there is a little bit of a randomizer here, which can give you anything. So if you're looking for a more, even more unique sound, if you're not getting it from all these sliders, you can literally just press this and voila. You never know what you're gonna get. Now all of these samples you're able to do this for, they all have this screen, so you can edit away to your heart's content, which is fantastic. Um, so we can have another listen to a few more of these. Um, so if we were to click on maybe one of these, solo that. So basically these are sort of a kind of basic version so easily to kind of like if you want a simple kind of uh, modulation or difference um, these sliders are ideal but again if you want more fine tuning definitely head on into here but you can definitely make some major changes just with this simple kind of um, not watered down but some simplified kind of uh, interface here um, so yeah, let's come with a couple of the synths. Um, let's have a look at a few of the bases. So, which one was it? I thought it was the Dark Pulse one. I really quite liked actually. idea. Um, we'll have a little look at <laughs> sound effects. <laughs> so some random things here. <laughs> Absolute chaos. Absolute chaos here. Um, <laughs> I, got, I got modular crystals. You can tell I like playing with the filter, can you? I just love playing with that filter. It's uh, great. That is the first pack. And 
This is now onto the VHS Cinema Sound Pack, which is mainly for film scoring and sound design. So this is called Empty Space, and it's a very fitting name. <laughs> I love it. But I'm a massive fan of pads, so this entire plugin is just right up my street. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's move on to... here we are. So you have four folders here. Atmospheres and Drones. Love it. <laughs> Pads and Soundscapes. Absolutely. <laughs> Pulses and, again, sound effects. So I think this is one of the atmospheres. Yeah, empty space. So again, same idea. It just, it just looks incredible. I just love the way this is kind of like... the entire interface is just stunning. I love it so much. Again, you can just muck around with this. Really find a new sound. There we go. Um, have a little look at a few others. Um, one of the ones I particularly liked, I think, was in here. Yeah, this is the one that I used on the track I'm going to play shortly, um, which I thought... It just sounds incredible. <laughs> sounds so vintage, which is just, again, top tier to me. Um, so that was the empty lobby one. So if we have a look at, pick up all the pet, evil bees. Let's have a look at evil bees. Uh, this is going to be a bit chaotic, I think. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> definitely chaotic. And <sighs> um, we've got sound effects. Again, because this, this uh, part of the library is kind of dedicated towards sort of like film composition and um, kind of sound design. So... I just, I think one of the main things I like about this library is just how, um, how big a lot of the sounds are, which is great. Um, because I, I really enjoy making massive soundscapes, so it's just good to build up a really thick kind of sound. So it's definitely fantastic for that. You get the idea anyway. So moving on to the wavetable uh, starter kit, and yeah, so I've loaded up one of these already. And oops, there we go. So I'm just giving you a basic thing to start with, and allowing you to to kind of really create something. As I mentioned, it makes a kind of a chorusy kind of sound, as you can hear. And you adjust the wavetable position as well. So let's 
go and have a little fine tune. Or what we can really do is just completely randomize it. But we'll have a quick go. So you can see you can really kind of like completely tweak and make a sound completely different. Which is the fun part, isn't it? Just creating your own kind of sounds. Let's go random. ideally make your own sounds out of any of these but I think the idea behind these is simply just to give you something really basic to kind of build up um, which is great So what I've really done here is I did create a custom uh, sort of wave uh, table synth myself. I took like a basic one and then just kind of tweaked it a little bit to kind of get the sound I was after. I just mocked around with the dimensions, uh, the reverb and the filter um, to kind of really get sound so the pink ones are all the kind of the VHS ones the yellow ones are the essential sound pack and the blue one is the custom one that I made so I tried to use a couple of different ones um, this was a very quick mock-up, so it's only got 10, 10 little tracks. Um, but you can hear it in yourself how thick a sound you can make with only 10 tracks. They're just stunning sounds. Absolutely stunning. So yeah. I'm blown away by it, to be honest. I, I absolutely love it. And it's a great price just now, and plenty and plenty to play with and tweak to however you like it so I hope you've enjoyed watching this I've had a great time playing around with it and yeah Karani Sounds Wave Synth top notch I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you next time goodbye <laughs>